Hey little guy, want me to pet your back? This is a denki mushi, or electric beetle in Japanese. One touch, and you'll feel a strong shock. But these beetles don't have any electricity running through them, just a special toxin all over their body. Over time, this larva transforms into a small moth with a wingspan about the length of a match. You're out with your friends and one of them tells a lame joke. That's a cicada. While they're common all over the world, they are borderline iconic in Japan. They live underground, and when they're old enough, they crawl out and start singing. When a cicada sheds, it literally leaves its entire body behind, like an empty clone. You can see thousands of empty cicada bodies in just one tree. After that, the cicada can finally call itself an adult and is the size of your big toe. The sound of a cicada singing is the Japanese code for summer. Turn on the TV and you'll hear it in movies and cartoons. And this little guy is a skunk, the insect version. Luckily, it's only the size of a nail. It's called a stink beetle. If you touch it or scare it, you'll be covered with a gross smell. Kind of like cilantro, but way worse. It smells pretty bad, and you'll have to wash your clothes, but otherwise, it's not that dangerous. They're always hungry, and a serious problem for Japanese farmers. Stink beetles like to eat fruits and plants. They pierce the outside with their little trunk and suck out the goodness, like an all-natural juice box. They're also a problem in winter. Stink beetles love to sneak into houses through any cracks they can find. They get confused by the warmth of the house and think it's a romantic hotspot. Mm. Stink beetles usually breed there. One female can lay up to 30 eggs, and before long, there's a flood of baby beetles all over the house. Pretty good opening scene for a horror movie. The Japanese mountain leech is a great dancer. Check out its moves. This thing is the perfect little hunter. It hides on the ground, in the grass, or up a tree, waiting. As soon as something tasty passes by, it attacks. Best of all, it walks like a slinky. Japanese mountain leeches are stealthy, too. You won't notice them right away. They'll hide under your clothes or even in your shoes. Then they inject you with a little numbing toxin so you don't feel the bite. Lastly, feast time. Their tiny mouths have small, sharp teeth, and lots of them. This is a house centipede. This guy's a great addition to your cleaning team. It eats other harmful pests. It catches flies, cockroaches, termites, and fleas. Even though it looks a bit gross, let it do its thing. And it's fast. Imagine a sports car in insect form. It can run at over a foot per second when chasing its prey. But don't be scared, you and your beloved pets are completely safe. House centipede teeth are too small to bite humans or household pets. But this centipede has a big, scary brother. Meet the giant centipede. This monster grows up to a one foot long, and it doesn't only hunt small insects. This thing hunts scorpions, spiders, lizards, even mice and rats. They've even been known to attack bats and birds. The main thing to worry about is its venom. It can hurt quite a lot, and its bite can cause serious swelling. But don't stress too much, you'll be fine after a few hours. Warning: If you're scared of spiders, get ready for a fright. This is the huntsman spider. It's not one of those spiders that spins a web in the corner and waits for insects to get trapped in it. This one jumps out at its lunch and tackles it to the ground. It's fast and powerful, with legs up to 11 inches long. Well, the good news is that these spiders aren't venomous. You might freak out if it lands on you, but that's about it. The Japanese giant hornet, on the other hand, pretty serious. Its sting can reach the size of a sunflower seed, and its wingspan is so big that it's sometimes called a sparrow bee. When it feels under attack, this hornet sprays venom on its target. This venom is like a beacon for other hornets. They latch onto the location and start attacking also. Their venom is extremely dangerous, especially if they all attack at once. They're not only ruthless, but also incredibly tough. They can fly up to 50 miles a day. Joro spiders couldn't be more different. 
They only grow to about half an inch, but their webs can reach 3 feet. Since their thread is yellow, it looks awesome in the sunlight. Scientists have added the protein of this spider to ordinary silk to make it much stronger and more durable. Joro spider silk is used in tennis rackets, fishing lines, and nets. It's so strong, they might even start using it to build houses. In Japanese fairy tales, the Joro spider has a very unusual role. It sometimes turns into a woman, befriends a man, and then ties him up in its golden web. Wow! This beautiful insect, kind of like a butterfly, is called an owl moth because of the two spots on its wings. And as cool as it looks all grown up, it's even better when it's a baby. Owl moth larvae grow up to 3 inches long and have long tentacles, similar to fishing hooks. Some people think they use them as a protective mechanism. Now, let's get on a plane to New Zealand. This is a giant weta, one of the biggest insects in the world. It's kind of like a giant cricket with grasshopper legs. They can weigh up to the same as a tennis ball. This next one's right out of a sci-fi movie. Part fly, part scorpion, and part pelican. It's a scorpion fly. It has a long beak, eyes and wings like a fly, and a bent tail like a scorpion. But it's harmless. It only grows to about the size of your thumb. And sure, the tail looks dangerous, but it's just for show. It can't sting you. The Puss Moth Caterpillar. Don't let the name fool you, it doesn't look much like a cat. But it does have short hair. Still, I don't recommend petting it. There's toxin on its fur, which causes severe skin irritation. Some say the pain from this toxin feels like boiling hot water on the skin. So, if you're traveling to the Southeast US or Mexico, make sure you look before you pet. The Titan Beetle from South America. Like the name suggests, it's from South America. It's also one of the biggest insects in the world. Some grow to almost 7 inches. Its jaws can bite a pencil in half, and it's been known to attack people, but only when it's defending itself. These massive beetles don't live that long. After hatching from larvae, they only last a few weeks. Oh, and did I mention they're from South America? <laughs> this is the Goliath bird eater. It's the largest spider by weight, about the same as a can of tuna, and is the longest spider by length of body, about the length of a chocolate bar. What a nightmare! Despite the name, Goliath bird eaters rarely eat birds. They mostly like worms, toads, lizards, and snakes. Yum! Now, nah, don't worry, you'll probably live your whole life without seeing one in the wild. Goliath bird eaters live in the rainforests of, wait for it, mm hmm, South America. Wow! The Hercules moth. What a great name! This moth's wings are bigger than the palm of your hand. It's super interesting even when it's still in caterpillar form. Hercules moth caterpillars grow up to 4 inches long. The best thing about them? They have small spikes all over their body, just like a mini hedgehog. The Maricopa harvester ant. It's one of the most venomous insects in the world. Its venom has a special chemical in it that acts as a signal for other ants. So when one ant bites, they all rush out to share in the fun. Right. The kissing bug. This little bug's also called a vampire bug. Why? Because it likes to eat its midnight snack, vampire style. It sneaks into a nest and goes hunting at night when it's colder and the host is sleeping. Some species like to live with humans, and they especially like the nibble near the mouth. Camel spider. This insect, about the size of a phone, is somewhere between a spider and a scorpion. Its hairy legs look scary, but its bite's not that dangerous. It prefers hot and dry weather, so bear that in mind when you're planning your next picnic. So, had enough big creepy bugs? Yeah, me too. See you next time!